don't want to mic mute the microphone. I don't think anybody's here. So, nerds, what's up? If you're watching this in the future, Wally here from Fermented Nerds. Advent calendar day two, the Fermented Friends Advent calendar. Twelve of us got together and each picked two selections of beer, so twelve beer each of the two selections, and made a custom calendar. Super cool. Uh, most of the rest of them don't know the order. If it's boxed up, of course, I know what's coming up every day. Hey, Mercy, Callie, let's get back for another show. Good evening, Mercy, all the way across from lovely uh, England, I think, near London, he said. So good to see you. <laughs> oh, the entire office is watching it, are they? Okay. Good. Excellent. I will do very well. Anyway, so yeah, we got a couple viewers on a whole, a whole two plus a crowd. I know, Callie, you don't like this banner, so I'm just playing at the beginning. Everybody knows that. Thanks for tuning in. Say hello. Today, day two, the Fermented Friends Advent Calendar from Legend 7 in Calgary, Alberta. Their patients pale ale. 330 milliliter bottle and a whole, a whole 4.3%. So not too bad at all. Oh, Liverpool. Thank you. Um, so pale ale, not an IPA. Basically the difference is India pale ale and IPA is a type of pale ale. It just less malt, more hops. Um, a pale ale, like the originator is just more balanced. So it'll be more caramelly or bready, uh, depending on type of malt and um, less hoppy, also less alcohol percentage. Pale ales would be like four to six percent and like 30 to 50 IBU max kind of thing. Where an IPA, well, they just do whatever. Yeah. Mercy here saying StreamYard worked out well. It did. I'm pretty happy with it. I was able to set this up in advance. So I was able to set up my banners in advance here. So I'll just uh, take your chat off. All right, let's know what you're drinking. I'm sure the OWC office is probably drinking water or coffee or tea. Good for you. I'm sorry. Um, got that one. And then, of course, this one. Let, let you know to tune in every day at 1 o'clock unless things change. That's what I'm hoping for. I have three viewers. I think I'm one of them. Um, and I think it's also on Facebook, but a little behind. So that is fine. I'm just checking on there. Cool. All right, let's go back to comments. I'll turn that banner off for now. So I don't know if they can comment from other places like Facebook groups or whatever. So I have this streaming as well on my Facebook page, Fermented Nerds, at Fermented Nerds. As the banner said, you can find us on all social medias, at Fermented Nerds, especially since some of you are watching this and not live. I'm going to get a bottle opener. And I'm going to crack this. Mercy, are you drinking anything right now? Oh, that glass is very dirty. That's kind of, that's kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna get a new glass. Uh, that one looks much cleaner. All right. Ooh, smells green. It smells very verdant. So crispy, clear ale. Day two of your custom advent calendar. We'll go ahead and get that in a minute. Crispy clear, one and a half finger, mostly white head, tons of carbonation. When I cracked it, you could instantly smell like the verdant, that verdant dank smell. Uh, Mercy here also just, uh, he just got his day two of his custom advent calendar. So we have you with raspberries from Tempest Brewing. Okay. Awesome. Never heard of them, but I'm sure you've never heard of Legend 7. Um, Legend 7, I didn't even know was still around. I thought maybe they had went away. Um, yes, every time they say verdant, take a shot. <clears throat> yeah, it does smell very green. It smells like green. Hey, 
Anyways, so let's get a big whiff of this. Mm, yeah, caramel, toffee, kind of like citrus, muddled citrus, grapefruit, orange kind of stuff. And green, smells green, green bitters, green hoppy, a bit floral. Pretty much what you expect in a pale ale of this style. It's going to be an American pale ale, so it's going to be West Coast style. Um, so more towards like the dank green flavor, um, floral pine instead of the East Coast, which generally is more fruity. Plus, of course, citra, uh, citrus underneath, depending on what hops. According to this, you use three hops and four specialty malts. I don't know what the four specialty malts are. Seven ingredients for Legend 7, so maybe that's their deal. I've had a few of the other beers that are not bad. Um, if I stand up right now, my fly's undone, so a little, uh, little thing for all the live viewers here. Verdant is a well-known... <laughs> okay. Nice. So they picked a very, very good name. I like it. Um, so Legend 7 in Calgary, I had them a few years ago at a craft beer show. Um, and they're okay. They weren't bad. And I've had a few of their items ever since. And I thought they went away. I thought they vanished like a lot of breweries tend to do. Especially in a super crowded market that Calgary's getting to be. But here we go. Still going. You pour a little more in there. Very like, I don't know what you'd say, artsy in a way. Like museum artsy kind of labels. They don't really like stand out in a shelf and bottles, I guess, is how they stand out because everybody does cans. Mm, it's very flinty, like wet sidewalk. Yeah, once you get past that, though, and your mouth gets coated a bit, you definitely get tons of grapefruit, tons of, like, citrus, like red grapefruit, some orange, and much like the aroma, a whole bunch of green. You get, like, piney, dank hoppiness. That you would expect from West Coast beer. Uh, if you are watching this and you want to keep watching at 1 30 over, I, and we'll probably, we'll, if we're done, or if you're bored, uh, tune on into Beer Native TV. He'll be doing his at 1 30 or 1 45 right after mine. Great channel, one of my favorites, one of the absolute best. Minerality? Oh, okay. We have a look. Excuse me, we have a live chat going on during this with a whole one viewer. So that's good. I'm essentially taking this for a future. It's no difference. I just do these for myself, really. Let's face it, most uh, most of us beer tubers with 100 subs or 200 subs, I mean, some of 1,000, good for them. Um, I'm at a whole 102 right now. Awesome. So we should have a, our 100 viewer or 100 subscriber special coming up. So stay tuned for that. Just whenever we can get together and film it. Excuse me. I think we talked about that last night. Another live stream. If you got a chance to watch that back. It went a bit long, but we were testing out the software. Turned out awesome. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the beer. Yeah, it is very caramelly. It has like a sweet toffee like almost doughy, bready sweetness to it, which is kind of cool. Be beer's like crystal clear too. Cleaner than my glass. Um, so it, again, it has that bready sweetness. Not much body. It's fairly watery. Maybe it's just, I took it out for a bit to warm up because super cold beers tend to be super watery. Kind of kills the um, mouthfeel a little bit, the thickness. Mercy saying that uh, his... His beer is also in a bottle, which is unusual. Yeah, I 
I, I have the big fig Newton beer, and there are two more, two more in my fridge. And then I got a bunch up here that you can see uh, right here. All the weird like Tusker and Zwizek and Baltic and stuff that I wanted to do for another show. All them in bottles. Actually, and then like the Hitachino stuff from Japan, that's in a bottle. This Lindemann's in a bottle. Sour Time from Poland's in a bottle. Is it an international thing, maybe? Maybe it's just easier to get glass bottles elsewhere. Easier to get glass than cans. Uh, or maybe equipment's just like that, where it's not easy to can in other places. Um, although I expect most of these guys here are um, probably contract bottled somewhere else. Uh, so there we go. This beer is okay. It's okay. It's fairly hoppy, actually. Which I did not expect. It's hoppier than I expected. It is 4.3%. It's interesting. There's like no body at all to this beer. Tastes green, verdant, flinty. A lot of minerality. Callie just keeled over drunk from all those shots she just took. The style, yeah. So Mercy here from Mercy Beers on YouTube. I'm sure he can throw up a link in the chat if he has a chance. Or you probably just click him if you're in chat. Or look him up on YouTube. Uh, cheaper to get glass, but his is a style. Yeah, I think this was like uh, trying to stand out in the crowd kind of thing. I really do. All their bottles are these weird 330 stout bottles. So a weird, I think I have a Pepsi Coke bottle in here somewhere. Yeah, like they're not even trying to be like your standard pop bottle. So this my little... Uh, Leninade, so quite a different shape even from that. Let's put that back so I'm not getting up. Um, yes, my fly is down. Um, so there we go. I need a producer so they can just enter stuff in and I can see it later when I'm watching, watching it back. Okay, so it's an all right beer. Last night's was better. Day one was... The Russell Oatmeal Stout out of Surrey, BC. So Vancouver, essentially. Um, it was good. Had a good body. Very coffee. It had a weird, like, metallic taste to it. And a couple of the other guys in the calendar said the same thing. So it wasn't just me. It wasn't a glass or wasn't anything. Yeah. Very... Wet sidewalk. So it's both verd a lot of verdant flavor, a lot of minerality. Again, two more shots, Cali. Um, so it's okay. Like, what I, I wouldn't buy six pack of these. I wouldn't turn it down if it was handed to me. Um, it's fun. It's good. It's just trying new things and supporting local breweries. And this time, I imagine Le Legend 7 has to be struggling like a lot are. Um, and you don't see them in stores, really. Like, it's not easy to find these guys around Lethbridge. That's why I thought they were done. The stores I go to does not never have them. So I thought they were done. Oh, yeah. I just, okay. So Kelly's making a good point about my logo. So up here, it's so weird having to point the other direction because I just want to point right at it. Uh right here the logo for fermented nerds it has that white white border so she's gonna make a clear background i thought i had that maybe i picked the wrong one either way um in the branding for this you can pick all kinds of cool stuff you can also i think we were talking about this last night mercy now that i've have the paid version oh the options are the options are much more gigantic it's really cool what you can do i can throw all the all the videos I want into into here, I can have my own overlay. So this is their standard overlay. Um, so I could have something like that with like live with fermented nerds, fermented nerds live shows, stuff like that. I just got to figure out how to do that. Might probably have to custom make. You can change your logo as you go, and again, you can change the type. I like this better. I, I get it takes up a lot of space, but. I like it a bit better. Perhaps it just needs a new color change. There we go. You do whatever. 
you can actually just go through the whole rainbow and just have fun like that. Anyways, um, stream art is super good. I am very, very happy with it. I will let them know. I will at them in the in the uh, pictures after. So how long have we been going? 60 minutes? That's probably good enough. So this was Patience Pale Ale from Legend 7 in Calgary. Once again, uh, tune in tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Shouldn't be a problem. Chrome tab on screen share is super helpful. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, but... Oh, screen sharing. Yes, yes. Yes, because if you a screen share, I'll hear myself back over the speakers. So if you're doing a lot of screen sharing, you want to wear headphones, which makes sense, or your, your, you know, headphones, earphones, whatever you want to call them. So that makes sense to me. I'm going to change that color back to yellow. There we go. for Yellow for beer. Um... Which is one thing I learned last night in one of the videos. They have a great 20-minute tutorial. 22 minutes, whatever. So that really did it for me. Uh, again, tune in tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Find us on all the social medias. At Fermented Nerds. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that. We're always trying to engage everybody. Um, there you go. Uh, and again, check out all our other videos. Uh, leave comments. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. Hit the bell for notifications. Thumbs up. Always help. They uh, help the algorithm. Although the Christmas algorithm is going to be really weird. Because October, November, early December is the number one time for advertising on YouTube. And YouTube just institute, instituted a new rule that they can just advertise on your channel if they want. Uh, whether you are uh, getting paid or not. So there's that. I guess if I... I have a Coca-Cola video with little like polar bears and penguins and stuff. Um, having having cokes together, cool. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's this five second video and you can just skip right by it. Uh, this was day two. We had eleven Legend Seven Patience Pale Ale, um, and I made sure I made that banner right before I came on, so I wasn't really cheating. Uh, three. Three viewers. Hello, new viewer who just popped on. I'm not sure who you are. It's probably Mercy or Callie just coming back and forth from other things, which is super cool. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, one day, I will hopefully have ads for a reason. We'll get there one day. Just need a 1,000 subscribers. I get enough hour views because I do enough videos. Um, I just need a thousand subscribers and to get some monetization and maybe I'll get like a little plaque or something. That'd be cool. I'm going to make myself a plaque for a hundred for a hundred. And it's going to be just like written in crayon on a piece of lined paper. And I'm going to put it on my wall, draw the YouTube symbol on it. Uh, anyways, with all that said, it's been almost 20 minutes, one o'clock. I don't get very many viewers, unfortunately, uh, on the weekend, hopefully more, or maybe I can think about changing time. Maybe we can do six o'clock or seven o'clock. We'll see. It's tough when you have a five-year-old because he wants to play in battle. And I want to play in battle. So what do you do? Uh, with all that said, uh, this is for Men Nerds. I am Wally. Day three tomorrow. I'm out.